wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to another magical Harry Potter advent calendar opening. Today we are opening a very special advent calendar because this one is extra magical and you'll soon find out why after we open door number one. So today we are going to be unboxing this advent calendar right here which is the Harry Potter Magical Minis advent calendar. Today we are going to be opening every single Door. So if you want to know what's inside it, then keep on watching and hey if you are brand new here firstly hello Welcome, don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family But let's go because I cannot wait and hey if you've missed last night's advent calendar go check it out Oh, I'm ready for some magic. Are you? Let's go Right, let's take a look at this advent calendar then. So here it is. This is the Harry Potter Magical Minis advent calendar. There are 24 gifts inside. Now I got this from a website called Smith's Toys. It was approximately £40 and it's a really fun one because when you open it, da -da 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 -da, it's an entire beautiful masterpiece, a magical festive masterpiece. Look at all the Christmas trees. We've got the Ravenclaw common room. Oh my god, we've got all the common rooms. I've never seen anyone do this. We've got Ravenclaw, we've got Gryffindor, we've got Slytherin, and we even have Hufflepuff with the little, it looks like a hobbit door, but that's so cute. And then obviously this is meant to be the Great Hall. Now, one thing you may notice about this advent calendar is that there are no numbers, except for one, which is up here. So this is the one that we're going to start with. I wonder if you can guess what's inside. We need some sort of magical tool to show us the light and show us where the numbers are. So, Let's get unboxing and let's start with door number one. Okay, let's start then with door number one. I am really intrigued to see. <laughs> okay, here it is. This is our magic wand. Let me put the calendar to one side. So here we have it. There is a little pull tab here which will make the battery connect to its circuit. And then I'm assuming when we press this tiny little button on here, oh, we get some magic light. That's very, very cool. Now apparently this is the key to finding the numbers on this advent calendar. Oh, now that is cool. Now, this is definitely designed to have a look at the numbers in the dark, but obviously I am surrounded by a lot of studio lights, so I will show you as much as I can. I did actually test this without the lights on, and it's actually worse with the lights off in here. So this is number 12. Another example down here, we've got a number eight here which is quite cool. So our job is to find the numbers. So this is number two. So this is where we're going to begin. Obviously the wand was number one. Let's dive in. Oh, is that Ronald Weasley? Ronald Weasley. <laughs> I have to say his name like that. Oh, this is so cute. They're like slightly larger Polly Pockets. Oh, look at him in his little stripy pajamas. Okay, so they have like fully functional heads. I've never seen these figures before. The arms move, um, the legs are bendy. There's even a magnet on his foot. So I'm wondering what that's going to be for. But yes, we've got a little Ronald. Oh, little Ronald. Let's hunt for number three. We've got 19, 22. I do believe, aha, there we have it. Number three is in the Ravenclaw common room. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, look, it's a Harry's jumper. Oh, oh, why are these so adorable? It's made out of this super soft, bendy, flexible plastic, almost like some sort of silicone. But yes, this is Harry's jump on. I'm guessing we can put this onto Harry when we find him. I have found number four, which is definitely one of my favorite numbers, which I'm gonna say in every advent calendar video. Let's, oh, what is that? 
Oh, it's a Patronus. This here looks to me like it might be Hermione Granger's Patronus because it looks like a little otter. How cute is that? It's so adorable. <laughs> it's this translucent kind of Patronus color. That's awesome. Door number five. We've got, oh, that's just so sweet. Pun intended, guys. This is ever so sweet because we have got the tiniest little box of Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. Oh, that's adorable. It's not printed on all sides, which is a shame, but still recognizable and very, very cute, very magical and very mini. It's time to head to the Hufflepuff common room because this is where number six is lying. Okay, let's get in here. What have we got? Oh, this is one of the chairs to go into the Gryffindor common room. That is very cool indeed. What a cool kind of set and prop piece to have. Oh, that's so cute that they can sit in the little chair. It's time to enter the Slytherin common room now because this door is number seven and it's hiding in a cupboard. Let's see what's inside. Oh my God, is that meant to be Peter Pettigrew? Get out. That's hilarious. Oh my God, it is. That's absolutely got to be Scabbers. <laughs> Why is he holding his tail like that? What are you doing? Oh, that's so weird. Oh, well, you definitely have to go chill with Ronald Weasley. Hiding over here in this fancy festive wreath, we've got door number eight. Okay, we're in. Oh, fizzing Wispies. Oh, I do like Fizzing Wispies. That's very cute. I think these might be the wrong color unless you can get a couple of different colors, but normally I think the packaging is meant to be orange, but either way, very recognizable, super cute. I love that they've got the sticker on the front to show what's meant to be inside. That's so cool. This calendar is very enjoyable so far, I must admit. Hiding in another Christmas tree, we've got number nine. Okay, oh, we have got Hermione Granger to go with her Patronus. Okay, let's take her out. Here we have got the Hermione figure and she's just in some very neutral trousers and a neutral hoodie, which kind of looks like she doesn't have a top on, but she definitely does. It is a hoodie. And she's got a lot of hair. Like that is a lot of hair. I mean, it looks like she's just come out from a blow dry in a salon. But yeah, so this is Hermione. So cute, love her little shoes. And again, she has also got a magnet on the base of her foot. Where is number 10? Aha, here is number 10, another Christmas tree. Oh, I think this is just like, <gasps> what is inside here? So this is, looks like a little present, but when you open it, oh, how cute it is. It's a wrapped present. It's a little Gryffindor scarf, but it's in a present so you can hide it in there. Oh, that's adorable. I guess it is Christmas time after all. Okay, this one here feels a little bit special because we have got the number 11, but above it, we also have a Ravenclaw diadem. I don't know if that's gonna show very well, but there is a diadem under the light right here. So that's really cool. Number 11 and then diadem. I'm very intrigued. Okay, let's open this. Oh, <laughs> okay. I assumed that was going to be something Ravenclaw, but this is an extendable ear from Weasley's Wizard Wheezies, but it kind of just looks, if you turn it over, it just kind of looks like a, a brick. But yes, there is an ear in there. We've got number 12, which is one of the first numbers we discovered with our magic wand. What's gonna be behind door number 12 then? That is a sorting hat. Oh, look at his grumpy little head and his little face and his, oh. Put the hat on. Oh, it fits like a dream. Gryffindor! I, <laughs> I'm not sure what that's doing in the Gryffindor common room, personally, but still very, very cute. Oh, this whole set's really cute. Back to the Ravenclaw common room because we've got number 13 hiding in this portrait. 
Oh, the world's tiniest Hogwarts acceptance letter that I have ever seen. Like my thumbnail is practically the same size as that. So this is what it looks like on the back, just plain, but it does have a little tiny wax seal on it. Number 14 is hiding in the Great Hall. And we finally got the chosen one himself. Okay, there we have it. Oh, and Harry too is in these cute striped pajamas and you can see his tiny little scar on his forehead so the details are there this is what he looks like from the back and just to show you that this little jumper fits on these you just kind of drape them round move their arms a little bit and bam he's in a tiny little jumper like how clever is that that the jumpers just go on like that and you can take them off i've never seen anything like it actually i think that's a really clever way of getting figures to change outfits. I'm gonna keep him in his little jumper because I think he looks adorable. Diving back into the Hufflepuff common room, we have got door number 15, which you can just about see. <gasps> We've got a cauldron! That's so cool. Wait, what? Oh, this is so sweet. Look at this tiny cauldron, but then the bubbles kind of... Wait, what does this do? I'm confused. What does this do? I'm very intrigued by this item. I don't really understand it. It has like this, this hinge. Oh, I guess maybe it's like so that it's not bubbling and then it is bubbling. It's doing some magic. Um, I wasn't sure if it was meant to do anything, but I think it's just so you can be like, right, we're making potions. And then today we're not making potions, maybe. I will look at that in further detail shortly, but I think it is just a cauldron. Moving on to door number 16, over here in the Gryffindor common room, and what have we got through this window? We've got a little, tiny Hogwarts stocking to hang on the fireplace. Well, if that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what it is. That's very cute. It only has a H on one side. Maybe it's for Harry, actually. It could be Harry stocking, not Hogwarts, but it could stand for either. So that's very, very sweet. And then hiding in this hanging basket over here, I do believe we've got number 17. Yes, we do. Okay, this one's exciting. Oh! No! They've not only given us one, but they've given us two chocolate frogs we've got a jumping one and then a regular one that's so cute i just love tiny chocolate frogs <laughs> oh this this can is filling me with a lot of joy don't get too comfortable because within this sofa in the gryffindor common room we've got number 18. let's see what's inside this door or inside this sofa i should say <gasps> we've got a trunk we've got a trunk We've got our very own luggage for Hogwarts. And <laughs> not only that, it looks like it, oh, oh my God, it does open. It's got a hinge, that's so cool. So we can keep some of our treats in here. Maybe Harry will have his acceptance letter in there. Maybe a cheeky little chocolate frog. Like how cute that they've included the trunks. <gasps> this makes me want to be a kid again. Hiding in this magical bookcase, we've got number 19. I mean, what else could they give to us? Ronald's jumper! Ronald obviously has to have the matching Christmas sweater to Harry. That's so sweet. Am I gonna put it on him straight away? Yes. Yes, I am. Because look how cute he looks in it. Okay, we have door number 20 over here in the Slytherin common room. This is the final door on this side of the calendar. And we've got another Patronus this time. I do believe we have got Harry's Patronus, which is a stag. Very, very cute. That can go with Hermione's. Back into the Great Hall, we've got door number 21. I can't believe we are close to finishing this calendar already. It's been such a fun one. Oh! <laughs> Little tiny butter beers, get out of town. Oh, these are so cute. Look, not just one, but two 
tiny butter beers so like Harry and Ronald can be like cheers and let's take a closer look inside this fireplace here because this is door number 22 <laughs> we've got Crookshanks I wasn't expecting I don't know why but I was not expecting a Crookshanks this one looks slightly happier than the ones in the movies we've got Hermione's cat that looks like he's been hit in the face with a frying pan excellent and we can't forget this other wreath over here which is number 23 can you believe this is the second to last door of this advent calendar neither can I let's open it on up Oh, of course, we've got all the pets now. Scabbers, Crookshanks, and Hedwig. That's so cute. And I think Hedwig can actually balance on Harry's arms because look at his little feet. And that does, sadly, leave us with one more door to open, which is over here, door number 20. 24 there it is there's a two and there is a four hiding in the gryffindor common room cupboard it's the invisibility cloak here it is oh it's that nice kind of moldable plastic material again so harry you can have your jumper and you can also have the invisibility cloak because you can never have too many clothes look at him right let's take a look at all of the things that we got in this advent calendar so here we have it this is everything that we got in this advent calendar including both of the jumpers and the scarf and the invisibility cloak that our characters are wearing this was such a joy to open i also thought the magic element with the little light was fantastic getting to hunt down those numbers every day in december what a treat that would be not only that the actual calendar itself is a fantastic set so you can put your items on here and create your very own magical time at hogwarts and again this calendar has been a pretty big hit for me i'm not going to lie this cost 40 pounds and i think for all of the interactive elements that you get within it i love the artwork as well to have all for Hogwarts houses, common rooms represented. That is not something that we get to see very often now, is it? So the fact that you get 24 items, three characters, loads of props in this cool calendar, which is probably one of the most unique Harry Potter calendars that I've seen for years. I think this is well worth the money, personally, and I really, really enjoyed it. Now, as per usual, it is not just about my opinions, it is also about yours. What do you guys think of this Harry Potter Magical Minis Advent Calendar? Sound off down below in the comments, I'll be sure to reply to some of those. And hey, if you got this far in the video, please do give this video a magical thumbs up and don't forget to stop by tomorrow for my next Harry Potter Advent Calendar. But for now, I'm gonna go put these people on a little shelf somewhere because they're utterly adorable, especially the little butter beers. Oh, I just think the attention to detail on some of the calendars this year is mm, chef's kiss. I love it. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys, see you in the next one. Oh, my God, these calendars are smashing it. Smashing it. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> I'm going mad.